Charlotte, good morning and welcome, Mayor Newsom, Charlotte, uh, members of the board of the San Francisco Bangalore Sister City Committee, uh, members of our youth wing, we call it, 2020 committee, who do a lot of work, uh, distinguished guests from the Indus International School and the French American School, city officials, thank you for being here. I wanted to quickly spend two or three minutes talking about the progress we've made. Uh, October 20th, as you all know, we signed the Sister City Agreement with Bangalore, India. After a two-year effort, uh, you championed in a determined fashion by Mayor Newsom. And since then, uh, you know, we've, we've done a lot of things, but we're very pleased that the sponsor from the Bangalore side was a very senior uh, official, the Chief Minister of the State of Karnataka, Mr. B.S. Yadurupa. It was critical that he signed the deal because as a result, it's reached the highest level of importance. Uh, now, since then, we've formed a non-profit committee, sfbangalore.org is our website, thanks to our 2020 committee. We have a wonderful board of directors. We've got uh, a very, very energetic group of younger people. We've in introduced people at the Public Utilities Commission and uh, the Asian Arts Museum, etc., to their counterparts, and we've done dialogues. But uh, most importantly, we received a matrix of what Bangalore wants. And they've, set, they've appointed a senior official, one of the three or four commissioners that run Bangalore, to be the point person, uh, Mr. Sridhar Shrikar. Uh, and he has sent us a note. And I'll quickly summarize the kind of things they're looking for from their side. So they've uh, elevated to a pretty high level. But to begin with, they said they'd like to have an exchange of ideas and information and uh, knowledge and therefore get kind of the Bangalore Water Department, the Bangalore Electricity Department, Bangalore Metro, as well as a special group formed by Karnataka uh, State to chart the future development of Bangalore together with their counterparts here in San Francisco and discuss best practices. The second area is they'd like to encourage the broader economy through trade. So the Chamber of Commerce in Bangalore would like to set up relationships with the similar chamber here They'd like to create two documents, invest in San Francisco, invest in Bangalore, and start visits, etc. They'd like to link up uh, educational institutions very appropriate to what we're doing today and encourage uh, scholarships, teacher exchanges, etc. In addition to the wonderful schools we're going to talk about today, the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore and the Indian Institute of Management is a high priority for the government of Bangalore. Uh, they want to link uh, them with the UCSF, with uh, the various stem cell work going on here, and they want to start that dialogue soon. They're willing to sponsor five scholarships from their end right away. Right. And they've set a deadline of July for some of these projects. Uh, you know, they've also asked one help in the area of, uh, uh, you know, they run 360 schools in uh, the city government, BBMP. They say in the note they do a poor job. They want to improve the quality of primary education. They want to learn. They don't do a good job with school sports programs. They want help with the environment, uh, with uh, you know minimizing and managing waste, with m helping to keep their lakes. It's a green, clean city. They want help with managing the parks and their lakes. And uh, you know, essentially, they want to have finally cultural exchanges. Uh, they want to build a mini Golden Gate Bridge. Already they've allocated four million dollars to developing a little Golden Gate Bridge, <laughs> and they're hoping San Francisco does something, uh, uh, creates an appropriate building. So with that, I think it gives you a flavor. What, what Jim and I really need from all of you here today is, given the uh, effort that they're putting into it, we need all your help and all your enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. With that, I pass it on to Jim. Thank you very much, Madhav. Um, a little bit of the history. Why Bangalore? Why Bangalore in San Francisco? Um, I was privileged to travel with uh, Mayor Newsom to Shanghai in 2005 as part of the 25th anniversary of the San Francisco-Shanghai relationship. And as we wandered around the ruins of the Jesuit Church in Macau, um, I, asked, I asked the mayor um, in, in, a, in a moment of semi-devotion, uh, <laughs> I asked, I asked the mayor, um, you know, having just come from Shanghai, what, what sister city he wanted to create. And he immediately, immediately jumped to India and specifically to Bangalore. And why Bangalore? I think many of us here know the answer to that question. But the mayor's answer to the question was 
Bangalore is the, the capital of India's Silicon Valley. San Francisco is the capital of America's Silicon Valley. With all due respect to Mayor Reed and San Jose. <laughs> In any case, uh, the mayor charged me with this, uh, with this task, um, a privilege I might add. Um, my former colleague from Citibank, uh, Madhav Misra, uh, joined together with me in 2007. I traveled to India in uh, May of 2007, was wonderfully received by city officials, private sector officials. There's an enormous thirst and fascination and interest in San Francisco, in Bangalore. Everyone that I met in Bangalore had a brother, a sister, a cousin, an uncle, someone who was here in the Bay Area, in Fremont, in Milpitas, in San Francisco, and all of them were engineers and finance people and so on and so forth. Very excited. Bangalore, notwithstanding its, uh, its technology uh, profile, Bangalore is a city which, in a sense, is a little bit starved of international attention. Uh, so they see the San Francisco link-up as a very exciting opportunity for them to, to actually broaden and deepen a strategic relationship, not only with San Francisco and California, a family relationship. And this is another one of Mayor Gavin Newsom's interest in India. The growing relationship between the United States and India is one that we've had our, we've had our history since 1948, and it's been rocky at times. And I think the mayor sees that they're starting with this relationship. There's an opportunity for, through San Francisco, citizen to citizenship, uh, citizen to citizen diplomacy. There's an opportunity to really strengthen uh, Indian American relations. So at that point, I'd like to hand it over to our good mayor who had the vision and the judgment to come forward with Bangalore as the greatest and latest sister city of San Francisco. Mayor Newsom. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, and all of you, thanks for, very much for being here. Uh, thank you, both of you, our co-chairs, for your outstanding leadership and stewardship now uh, of this uh, relationship. Uh, it's appropriate we're here in the international room. As you look around, you can see a lot of gifts that have been exchanged uh, over the years. Uh, it's actually a remarkable collection that far exceeds the capacity of this room. We have uh, an unbelievable uh, and very proud tradition of developing strong sister city relationships. In many respects, uh, we've been a model for other cities around the world in terms of the development and stewardship of the same. Uh, as Jim was saying, the 25th anniversary of the Shanghai sister city was an example of that. Uh, one of the most robust and probably one of the most admired sister city relationships anywhere in the world. And those are not my words, those are the words of uh, the Chinese government and the words of other leaders across the nation that looked to that example as a model and inspiration. Uh, listening to Mata, uh, in every respect, everything you shared from Bangalore's perspective uh, is, I think, exampled by the relationship that we've had in Shanghai in terms of the relationship that has exchanged not just culturally, but has exchanged economically, has exchanged through stewardships uh, along the lines of education that we're advancing here today. So it's following that same path, which I think is an important one. Uh, but we understand that you need to reinvent or die, and that we can take the lessons learned in Shanghai and bring them to a whole other level. Uh, and I'll say this without indulging you or patronizing you, because uh, I say this um, when you're not here. I am immeasurably impressed with the caliber of people supporting this relationship. Uh, Matthew and Charlotte can attest uh, these relationships are only as good as the committees that surround and form them. Uh, mayors come and go. Uh, these committees, these relationships need a strong foundation and you have set forth that strong foundation. So for that I'm immeasurably grateful because I don't want this to begin and end uh, in one term in office. I want this to be uh, celebrated 25, 50, 100 years from today, and people look back and remember uh, these You'll moments in time. I hope, <laughs> I hope take Mayor Bloomberg's cue. Uh, um, so that's uh, the spirit that, that brings us together. Also, just on a personal note, um, I went to French American school, so I'm miserably grateful, and I had nothing to do with coercing uh, this outcome. Uh, I was. I don't. <laughs> We were going along so well. Uh, trust me, we were going along so well. Uh, yeah, that's a kindergarten, and then there was something called high kindergarten, which may have been just a way of pulling me back. 
not worse than second grade. But uh, so I, I'm very grateful uh, for the support uh, uh, for the uh, for the French American uh, the French American. It's no longer a bilingual school; it's international. That's cool. He changed it from the day was days when I was there. Uh, but this is where you start. You start with the kids. You start with generationally, uh, and you connect people across their differences, across every conceivable walk of life, uh, across the divide, literally, not just figuratively. Um, and we start appreciating our common humanity, uh, the things that unite us. We celebrate always our interesting differences, but at the end of the day, we reconcile uh, those differences by recognizing that we're so much more alike than we are different. And that's why these relationships are so important. Again, those relationships are drilled down into the educational environment. Uh, and the stewardship of exchanges, teacher exchanges, student exchanges, it's what it's all about. And uh, I think a lot of our uh, lives have probably been formed by similar experiences, travel, uh, or even having the, the gift of uh, being on an exchange program, or having, as I did when I was a young child, have students from overseas stay with us. Uh, for a week or two or a month uh, and learning more about their culture uh, and their lives. So uh, I want to thank you both for your outstanding job and all the committee members uh, for following through uh, on that remarkable video conference. I never thought we'd sign a memorandum of understanding via video uh, or whatever it was, via the, the web, the internet. I don't know, the internet. I mean, it was, uh, but, and, and uh, just one final thing, for those of you that weren't there, and this was a big deal. I thought we had two or three people on the other side. I think we had half the country there. <laughs> this was us. Well, I was not exaggerating. I mean, this, they took this very seriously, and accordingly, we will take it very seriously. And indeed, that's the spirit that brings us together today. So thank you all very, very much. And um, Mr. Mayor uh, Kumar Malafali. Uh, Kumar is going to say a few words uh, to introduce both uh, Mrs. Rao from the, uh, the Indus School oh, and Jane Kaplan. And uh, Kumar, of course, is the founder and the owner of the Indus School in, in India. And his, uh, and his father has yes. joined us uh, from Lord. India. It's a great honor guest today. Thanks, so, Kumar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So <coughs> thank you. Honorable Mayor, uh, co chairs of uh, San Francisco Bangor City uh, Initiative Committee, and committee members, and also youth, youth wing of the committee and principals of the schools and ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my uh, very honor and privilege to introduce the MOU that we are going to be signing today uh, under the, in, the, in the presence of Honorable Mayor. And uh, the, that is the first of its kind, the, this particular MOU is the first of its kind representing the projects that we are going to be continuously doing under this initiative. And the, it's very important uh, for, for this to, uh, to, to take a serious turn right now. We were only talking about things until now, but now we are doing something tangible. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of the uh, MOU is to, is to make sure that both the school have create, uh, uh, both the school create a platform uh, that allows them to share and also gain uh, knowledge uh, in the areas of education, research, uh, community service, and infrastructure development, and also uh, learning uh, methodology. To, be, to make sure that this goal is achieved, both the principals and the schools are working very, very hard to, to engage in a very big way in the areas of student uh, exchange programs, faculty exchange program, and also exchange of, uh, you know, uh, best uh, best uh, practices, and also conferences, seminars, and also to be able to have initiatives in the social service, not to forget, and in and also have initiatives in the area of uh, general education, research and development. So they'll be very much engaged. They'll be very working very closely with each other to make this happen. And the, both the principals have been empowered to to make sure these things are taking place over a period of time. And uh, and also it gives my uh, it gives me great pleasure in introducing these two ladies uh, who are the principals of these schools. Uh, who are uh, who, uh, one is the principal, uh, Mrs. Sarojini Rao. She's the principal of uh, Indus International School, Bangalore, and Mrs. Uh, Jane Camblin, who is the head of school of uh, French American International School in San Francisco. Both these ladies have uh, an incredible amount of uh, academic uh, uh, achievement, credentials, and also uh, 
lot of track record in the area of uh, education, culture, and uh, managing international schools. And they have they are working very hard in their respective school to make sure each individual student can 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 fulfill his or her dream in the area of complete development and also uh, to uh, to increase the potential uh, latent potential. And uh, to talk a little bit about the schools themselves, uh, the Bangalore School, the Indus International School, Bangalore, is uh, is mainly uh, uh, it is a full fledged full spectrum international baccalaureate school. Uh, it is uh, it, the main strength of the school is in the area of uh, whole education, leadership, entrepreneurship, uh, social service, and world citizenship. These are very important aspects of the school. And the school is in uh, sixth year of operation right now, and it has represented students coming from 29 different countries. And whereas French American International School is the, is the only in, international baccalaureate and French baccalaureate school in San Francisco today. And it, it is uh, the, the main thing, main goal, uh, and main driving force behind the school is to make sure they follow the principles of rigorous academics and the diversity. And the principal and the staff are empowered to, to make sure the students uh, coming out of, the graduates coming out of the school uh, can create, creatively, think creatively, and also communicate across multiple cultures. That's a very important thing. And with this, I would like to request uh, both Mrs. Rao and Mrs. Cambrin to say a few words about their respective schools. Thank you. After me. Um, thank you so much for those kind words, and uh, Newsom, thank you so much for your hospitality. Um, while we sign our agreement of marriage, I know you have other men. <laughs> 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 I appreciate your time this morning. Um, I'm very moved to be here and to be representing a, a large school of 950 students and 200 and faculty and staff um, in this incredible initiative. Um, after the ceremony, my new colleague and I are going to go back to school and work on all the things that have been announced we're going to be working on and actually develop a plan for teacher exchanges and student exchanges and conferences where we exchange ideas and so on. So those are really the pragmatic elements of our association, I think, going forward. But I'd also like to mention that there's something else as well under the surface. As a school that's now 46 years old, we have about 15 different international exchanges around the world. None of them have been memorialized in the same way that we're about to do this morning. And none of them really have the potential for uncovering so much of the complexity of a country that we'd love to know and know we don't know enough about. Uh, we have taken several trips to India with our students over the last couple of years. Um, each time we scrape a little bit more under the surface, but we still know after that experience that there's more to do. And I think that having this collaboration, having this um, really ratified agreement with a school we're going to be able to immerse ourselves in a culture and a language and a way of life and a being that we haven't been able to do so far. And so I'm very, very excited about that, in addition to all the wonderful things we can achieve together. So welcome to San Francisco. Okay. I look forward to working with you. Madam. Honorable Mayor, Mr. Kumar Malavalli, Ms. Camlin, and distinguished guests. It is indeed a great honor for me to be here today, to be part of the Sister City Initiative collaboration between the cities of San Francisco and Bangalore. I bring to you the greetings of the teachers and students of Indus International School. It may be of interest to you that 25% of our students are Americans. And this collaboration between French American International School and Indus International School is exciting for both the institutions, mainly because this will go a long way in developing um, strong faculty, multicultural understanding, and most importantly, respect for diversity, which is so important in the present century. As a principal of Indus International School, I pledge my support to this great uh, collaborative initiative, and I am most grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. 